the small town of Folk, located in southwest Arkansas. A creature known as the Folk Monster has been a topic of discussion since the early 1970s. The town gained notoriety after a resident reported seeing this mysterious creature, sparking widespread interest and media attention. The legend of the Folk Monster was further perpetuated by the release of the 1973 movie, The Legend of Boggy Creek, which portrayed the creature's encounters. Since the 1800s, sightings of a Bigfoot-like creature in and around the area have been consistently reported, solidifying its place in local folklore. In the depths of Boggy Creek, there lies a stretch of land that holds a particular mystery. This land, which has been owned by the same family for generations, is shrouded in whispers of strange happenings. The family unwittingly stumbled upon a sinister secret that would forever haunt their dreams. It was a moonless night in 1906 when they ventured into the desolate wilderness in search of alligator slides. The air was thick with a sense of unease, and their hearts raced as they traversed the treacherous terrain. As their eyes adjusted to the dim light, their search took a horrifying turn. Amongst the mud and marsh, they discovered not one, but two sets of humanoid tracks, tracks that whispered of a nightmarish presence. One set belonged to a creature so small, its intentions remained enigmatic. But it was the second set, ominously larger, that sent shivers down their spines. The tracks were an aberration, a perversion of all that was known. Rather than the expected three-toed marks of local wildlife, the ground bore witness to five-toed, giant human-like footprints, each imprint imbued with an inexplicable malevolence. Panic seized the family as they realized the magnitude of their discovery. News spread like wildfire, igniting fear in the hearts of the nearby community. Whispers echoed through the village, each tale more horrifying than the last. Some believed the tracks belonged to a monstrous creature, lurking in the shadows, waiting to claim its next victim. Others feared that it was a harbinger of doom, a sign of some otherworldly entity descending upon their peaceful existence. The owner of the property was awoken from his slumber by the cries of distress that filled the night air. Sensing the urgency, he raced to the scene, an unrelenting knot forming in the pit of his stomach, as he beheld a massive shadow darting through the trees. His mind raced to comprehend the implications. What kind of malevolent force had set foot in their midst? Bewilderment danced across his face, etching lines of fear upon his brow. The weight of the unknown pressed heavily upon his spirit, leaving him filled with a sense of unease. He knew that the discovery of these mysterious tracks and what he saw that night would forever change the perception of their quaint community, shattering their illusion of safety and forcing them to confront the very real possibility that an enigmatic evil lurked among them. As he gazed into the abyss of Boggy Creek, the once familiar landscape now held an air of foreboding. The owner, haunted by the experience, could not shake the feeling that something sinister was on the rise, its malevolent presence lurking just out of sight. In the depths of his heart, he knew that the peace they had once enjoyed was forever shattered, replaced by a palpable fear that gripped the very core of their existence. One particularly chilling encounter occurred in 1971, when the Ford family had just moved into their new home. It was a peaceful Saturday night when Elizabeth Ford, still groggy from sleep, was awakened by a noise at the window. Startled, she noticed the curtains moving and saw a hairy hand sticking through the window. Initially mistaking it for a bear's paw, she soon realized that it was something much more sinister. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, Elizabeth saw the creature's fiery red eyes staring back at her. Its heavy breathing filled the night air, sending chills down her spine. Elizabeth's husband, Bobby, and his brother, Don, rushed outside and fired several shots at the creature, causing it to retreat momentarily. Believing they had wounded the creature, the men searched for it, but found no signs of its presence. Confused, they returned to the house, only to hear the screams of the women inside. Bobby was suddenly grabbed by a hairy arm, engaged in a struggle with the creature. 
Fortunately, he managed to break free and escape, running back into the safety of the house. The local constable, Ernest Walraven, arrived soon after and conducted an extensive search of the surrounding area. However, he found no trace of the creature. As the family inspected their property the next morning, they discovered large, five-toed tracks, scratch marks on the porch, and damage to the windows. News of the incident spread quickly, capturing the attention of the public and media. The Ford family's encounter inspired the legendary film called The Legend of Boggy Creek in 1973, drawing further interest to the creature lurking in the woods. The sightings subsided in the following years, but periodically resurfaced, keeping the legend alive. It was the year 1986. A dense air of mystery hung over Boggy Creek, and it was during this time that the patriarch of a long-standing family encountered something so chilling that it would forever haunt his dreams. On an otherwise unassuming day, the owner of the property found himself in the company of a curious visitor. They embarked on an excursion, driving along a rugged path that led deep into the heart of the woods. As they neared a gate, an eerie stillness enveloped the air, warning of the unknown that awaited them. Stepping out of the vehicle to open the gate, the owner never anticipated the wild spectacle that would unfold before their very eyes. From the murky depths of the nearby creek emerged a figure so extraordinary, it defied the realm of human understanding. Covered in a thick coat of hair, the entity stood upright, towering from a distance of around 70 yards. Its presence was both mesmerizing and unnerving, sending shivers down their spines. Neither the owner nor the guest could comprehend what they were witnessing. This was private property, a sanctuary that lay hidden from prying eyes. Who or what could dare to venture into these sacred grounds? As the seconds ticked by, the creature, as if sensing their gaze, swiftly scurried back towards the safety of the creek, vanishing from sight in the blink of an eye. The visitor, stunned by the surreal encounter, demanded an explanation. They yearned to grasp the true nature of this enigma that had unfolded right before them. Seeking solace and understanding, they turned to the owner, hoping for some rational explanation. But how could one possibly make sense of the unfathomable? The owner, shaken to their core, struggled to find the right words. Faced with the inexplicable, they simply shrugged and referred to the creature as the Folk Monster, a moniker bestowed upon the unknown entity that had been whispered about in hushed tones by the locals. That encounter forever etched itself into the annals of their memories, leaving both the owner and the visitor with more questions than answers. Such a tantalizing taste of the bizarre would ignite a curiosity that could never be extinguished. And as the sun set on that fateful day, the enigma of Boggy Creek only grew deeper, leaving all who dared to explore its depths struggling to unravel its mysteries. In 1994, as two intrepid adventurers, Sarah and David, delved into the heart of Boggy Creek, they quickly realized that they had entered into a realm where danger lurked at every turn. The very air seemed thick with foreboding, and the dense foliage threatened to enclose them in its embrace. They had entered a treacherous world where survival was not guaranteed. The first hint of danger came in the form of a slithering serpent, its venomous fangs glinting beneath the dappled sunlight. Sarah's heart skipped a beat as she caught sight of the sleek body and mesmerizing eyes of a deadly cottonmouth snake. The creature coiled itself in fierce anticipation, ready to strike at a moment's notice. David, ever the vigilant explorer, instinctively stepped back, his senses heightened. He knew that one wrong move could have dire consequences. The pair decided to steer clear of the venomous serpent, taking a cautious detour to avoid any unnecessary encounters. As they continued their foray into the unknown, they stumbled upon a chilling sight. Lazily perched on half-submerged logs, giant alligators seemed to taunt the adventurers with their eerie stillness. The creatures, their eyes fixed on the horizon, appeared as gatekeepers to a realm hidden beneath the waters. Cautiously, they continued on, trying not to disturb their reptilian reverie. It was a delicate dance, a silent negotiation between human and beast as they respected the wild inhabitants of Boggy Creek. 
They remained keenly aware that survival hinged on their ability to navigate through this hostile territory unscathed. With each step they took, Sarah and David were reminded of the unpredictable nature of this environment. The whispering wind seemed to carry the echoes of unseen dangers lurking just beyond their field of vision. Every rustle of leaves, every sudden splash in the water, sent their hearts racing with a mixture of fear and excitement. But it was amidst this untamed backdrop that their true encounter awaited them. As dusk blanketed the land in an ethereal glow, Sarah spotted a figure emerging from the shadows. Covered in matted fur, the creature stood stooped, its frame powerful, yet evoking an air of deep mystery. It was the Boggy Creek Monster, the enigmatic being that had bewitched the imaginations of countless individuals throughout the years. Sarah and David held their breath, captivated by the sight before them. The creature seemed to meld with the darkness, its glowing eyes peering directly into their souls, an unmistakable hate for human beings etched into its expression. In that moment of terrifying connection, the adventurers understood that they were witness to something extraordinary, something that defied rational explanation. As the creature stepped back, disappearing into the murky depths of Boggy Creek, Sarah and David exchanged glances filled with wonder and awe. In the early 1970s, during the peak of sightings in the area, a family had a spine-chilling encounter that remains etched in their memory. They had been on the boat ramp at Mercer Bayou, preparing their boat for a day of recreation when an eerie howl echoed through the woods. It was a peculiar sound, unlike anything they had heard before. Curiosity peaked. The mother, who had some Native American heritage, attempted to communicate with the source of the howl. To her surprise, the creature responded in kind, and a strange interaction ensued. The family cautiously approached the area, where they discovered what seemed to be an abandoned trailer nearby, untouched since its arrival. Suddenly, the creature emerged from the woods, standing upright and covered in hair. Towering at around six or seven feet tall, it was a sight that defied all logical explanation. As fear gripped their hearts, a group of men wielding shotguns burst out of the trailer, seemingly in search of the same creature. The creature retreated at the sight of the men, leaving the family in a state of profound shock and awe of what they just witnessed. Another man, Tom Zorn, who recounts his first encounter with the monster during the 1950s, Late one night, while Zorn and his mother were at home, they heard heavy footsteps approaching their house. As the sound drew closer, Zorn cautiously aimed his pistol at the window, preparing for the unknown. Suddenly, a massive foot struck against the window, prompting Zorn to fire three rounds. However, the moment the shots rang out, an eerie silence descended outside. There was no evidence of the creature, no breathing or running, just stillness as if the monster had vanished into thin air. Another witness, William Lunsford, shares his teenage experience with the Boggy Creek Monster. As Lunsford walked along a road, he spotted a strange figure squatting down, partially obscured by a tree limb. In fear, he watched as the creature rose to its feet, revealing eyes as black as coal. Lunsford felt a profound sense of intrusion, as if the monster could read his thoughts. The creature teetered for a moment before eventually walking away. From this encounter, Lunsford discovers a peculiar way to engage with the monster, mimicking the sound of rocks clapping together. In the midst of this cryptid tale lies a man who has become intimately familiar with the legend. Mark, the current owner of a portion of the land, has been a resident of the area since 1983. He took it upon himself to enhance the experience for visitors by creating the Monster Mart and collecting artifacts that would captivate and intrigue visitors and enthusiasts. Mark's intention was not to exploit the myth, but to provide an immersive and fulfilling experience for those who dared to venture into the unknown. Through his efforts, he hoped to erase the doubts and skepticism surrounding the legend and inspire a sense of wonder and adventure in those who visited his establishment. 
The perception of the Boggy Creek monster has undergone a transformation over the years. What was once met with ridicule and skepticism has now become a subject of intrigue and curiosity. Lyle, a renowned author, played a significant role in reshaping the narrative. Through his fair and objective recounting of the stories, he shed light on the experiences of those who had encountered the creature, opening the minds of the community. People began to embrace their own experiences and share their stories, no longer fearing ridicule. The previously hesitant community now stands more united, realizing that the unexplained phenomena in their midst are worthy of consideration and respect. More individuals have come forward, recounting sightings and encounters that have shaped their lives. Some mainstream scientists suggest that many Bigfoot sightings, including the Boggy Creek Monster, can be attributed to mistaken identity, particularly with black bears. The dense foliage and poor lighting conditions make it easy for observers to misinterpret what they see. However, believers in the creature refute these explanations and see these people as mere career-driven skeptics, convinced that it is a genuine flesh-and-blood cryptid. The Boggy Creek legend has been woven into the very fabric of the land. It has intrigued and confounded generations with its elusive nature. The mere mention of its name evokes a sense of wonder and unease among the locals. Over the course of a century, sightings of this creature have multiplied, capturing the attention of believers and skeptics alike. From the earliest days in 1906, when two sets of distinct tracks were discovered, to the modern era, where eyewitness accounts continue to surface, the Boggy Creek Monster has left an indelible mark on the landscape of mystery. What sets this cryptid apart is the sheer variety of names it has been given throughout its history. From its early days as the Jonesville Monster, to its later monikers of the Fowl Monster, and more. Ultimately, the Boggy Creek Monster and Folk Monster. This creature has undergone transformation and evolution in the imaginations of those who dare to ponder its existence. The tales surrounding the Boggy Creek Monster have become part of the local lore, passed down through generations. Each story carries with it a sense of excitement and apprehension, captivating listeners with its blend of the supernatural and the unknown. These accounts, like whispers in the wind, continue to shape the perception of the monster, adding layers of complexity to an already enigmatic tale. It is these accumulated sightings and eerie encounters that have solidified the creature's presence in the collective consciousness of the community. Locals who have ventured into the depths of the woods have walked away with stories that both mystify and terrify. The strange phenomena they have witnessed serve as a chilling reminder that there are forces at work in Boggy Creek that defy explanation. The legend has inspired countless books, documentaries, and even a highly influential movie. In the wake of its release, more individuals have come forward, emboldened to share their own encounters with the Boggy Creek Monster. These accounts, wrapped in a cloak of mystery, leave audiences yearning for more. But what is the truth behind these stories? Are they mere figments of the imagination or tangible evidence of a creature that has eluded capture for over a century? The answers remain elusive, hidden within the depths of those who have come face to face with the enigma known as the Boggy Creek Monster. As the legend continues to captivate minds and spark the imagination, one thing is certain. The Boggy Creek Monster will forever remain a captivating mystery. Its existence, tantalizingly close, yet just out of reach, leaves us yearning for more. More sightings, more encounters, and more clues that might unravel the secrets of this otherworldly creature. Until then, the legend of the Boggy Creek Monster will persist, living on in the hearts and minds of those who dare to believe in the extraordinary.